Hello, my name is Vicente and today I'm going to present my practice one of artistic creation and research workshop. In this practice, we have to carry out two creative pieces of work taking as lay motif two of the three proposed themes that are stereotype, uncertainty and otherness. To solve this practice, we had to represent one of these themes using traditional materials and following the mode of work that artists develop in one of the movements of 20th century art, and the other one using techniques that artist movements have used over the last 50 years. The first piece of work is based in theme stereotype, using traditional techniques. When choosing the stereotype, the first thing I did was the preparation researching this concept in various places to be clear about its meaning, and those be able to start thinking about what to do. I finally chose the idea of talking about nudism of the beach. With that idea, the first thing that came to my mind was to choose a woman, so I could talk about other types of stereotypes at the same time. To do this, I decided to place a naked woman hugging her knees sitting on the sand. This position suggests a vulnerability and fragility, a stereotype that may be related to the idea that women are emotional and need protection. At the same time, nudity can symbolize purity and innocence, and the fatal position reinforces this idea of rebirth and vulnerability. In art, the nude figure has often been used to represent sensuality and sexual attraction. The position of having your knees could be interpreted as an invitation or an expression of desire. On the other hand, hugging your knees can also be an act of self-care and self-reflection, as the woman could be seeking comfort or reflecting on her own life. This idea came to me because I have personally been able to experience how the people around me have always rejected nudism, especially on the beaches. There is no doubt that the human body is one of the great existing social taboos. So I decided to make this work on a canvas and used oil paintings, leaving the woman in the middle of the work so that she will be the center of the viewer's attention. The materials I have used to carry out my work have been oil paints, canvas, brushes, mixing palettes, medium, thinners, linseed oil, spatula, pencil and rubber. My second idea is based on the topic otherness and I have realized this idea with modern technique. I want to reflect in a word the different meanings of otherness in a single image, since for different people you can create one opinion or another, which will always fall within the definition of otherness. To elaborate it, I thought about the idea of the girl looking in a mirror, who when she looks at herself, looks sad or fed, for example. Then I gave that last idea a spin, managing to come up with the idea of putting myself looking in a mirror, and having another person appear in the reflection. I finally decided that the person was my father, since people always know who I am because we are very similar, and without realizing it, I carry out the same attitudes as him, and many times, even if he doesn't believe it, I always see myself reflected in him. Basically, I want to express the idea of otherness, so I think that with my work of art you can reach many meanings of otherness, because people can think about many things like, he wants to be his father, Oh, he acts like a father and that's why he sees himself reflected in him. I want to cover different meanings, since I hope that one, not everyone has the same opinion, and the different meanings of otherness can be reflected in a single photo. To create this work, I have used a photo, edited with Photoshop. We took the photo in the same position and with the same clothes, and then with Photoshop I edited it by placing my father in my reflection. My personal conclusion about this practice has been that the creative process of an artwork is demanding and requires great concentration on the task, as well as time and effort to create the work from scratch. I have loved working with these traditional and modern techniques to be able to express two concepts, improving and learning more about the world of arts every day. To conclude this video, I want to say that we are all capable of expressing art so the important thing to be an artist is effort, dedication and passion, among many other things.